Classic Plastic here. Thanks for watching the show and keeping up with season two. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, and the reason is because I had a smoke claim in my house. So all of my consoles, all of my video games have been taken out of the house to get cleaned. And um, this is very taxing on my patients just because um, this is like week three and it takes about a month, so I still have a week to go, but I'm going strong, guys. Um, this is a very special episode of Classic Plastic, but before I proceed, I want to say congratulations to Bulk Man because you are the winner of the grand prize giveaway for the beginning of Season 2. And um, if you guys don't remember, it's a Luke Skywalker action figure from the late 70s, early 80s. And um, basically, if you guys want to enter for the next uh, grand prize giving, it's actually going to be a bigger prize for the end of the season and um, the way you can improve your chances of winning is um, consistently leaving uh, messages and comments on the video, subscribing, you know, um, word of mouth is also, you know, referrals are a great gift to me just because through that I get more views and more subscribers. So. Um, Definitely keep that in mind the next giveaway. I can't tell you what it is, but it is going to be kind of sweet. So um, keep an eye out for that. But back to business. Uh, I just got back from the art museum and uh, I got a little classier. But on a different note, um, I wanted to recommend you guys pick up a uh, copy of this month's Game Informer. It's the Elder Scrolls Online. Um, issue and uh, there's a really cool article I really think you guys should read it's on page 18 and it's called the art of play uh, this article ties in nicely to my review of the Smithsonian exhibit of the art of video games and um, this basically speaks to the director of the program and they go through some Q&A's and um, basically it tells you what to expect when you visit the exhibit and what locations they're going to be visiting throughout the next six years. So uh, definitely pick it up, read up on the information on here, and uh, watch the video and uh, enjoy the show. Thanks a lot, guys. This exhibit is at the Smithsonian Art Museum. It's comprised of three rooms and uh, we'll go through each room as the clip uh, gets closer. Um, in the first room you see concept art from Metal Gear Solid to World of Warcraft and Earthworm Jim. Uh, right now we're coming up on a copy of Halo 2600 along with the box. This was a giveaway at, I'm not sure if it was Comic Con or E3, but it was um, a giveaway because Halo Reach was very close to its uh, debut. As you can see here, you also see Star Raiders posters and other classic video game RPG posters that um, have become kind of rare throughout the years. This is the other half of the first room. Um, as you can see, uh, there's sort of like a timeline-esque uh, monitor showing the differences from back in the day when the 2600 was cutting edge to the next generation of gaming, which is the Xbox 360 and PS3. Yeah, PS3. <laughs> Um, more artwork up on the wall. You can see some Diablo artwork, Mickey Mouse. You can see Snake and uh, the leg of a cow from Metal Gear Solid 4. An awesome game. You guys got to check it out. And more concept art um, from different video games. I believe this is from World of Warcraft.
the second room is my favorite room. Um, it's the hands-on exhibit, and as you can see, yours truly is playing Pac-Man on there. You had a choice of five games. It was Pac-Man, uh, S Super Mario Bros. for the NES, uh, Flower, Mist, and another video game I can't remember. It's something about monkeys. I know it's not Monkey Ball, but um, it's an RPG. Um, I did make a competition out of Pac-Man with my friends and uh, colleagues. Um, basically, you have a 90-second timer, and uh, we made kind of a bet to see who could get the highest score. Of course, I came on top, and after that, um, I did a victory lap around the room, announcing my friend's inferiority to me um, and making it known to the world that I am a far superior Pac-Man player than uh, he was. Now moving over to the third room, this room is displayed in a fashion that is reminiscent of a timeline. Um, as you saw, um, there's a Commodore 64, there's the Atari 2600, um, right now we're looking at the NES. Um, they have a lot of screenshots and also they give four examples of uh, video games so uh, I know the options were adventure, strategy, uh, action and then the other one I think was shooter. Um, I may be wrong but um, as you can see uh, you walk around the room and you can explore in detail uh, the different consoles and uh, what year they were released and uh, what were their strong and weak points. Um, what I did notice in this room that um, that kind of um, didn't make me upset, but uh, I did shed a tear because I did not see these consoles there, was it was missing some of the iconic, the other iconic consoles that weren't necessarily commercial successes. Um, some of the consoles I did notice that were missing were... Uh, Consoles such as the Neo Geo uh, CD, the CDZ, and also the Neo Geo AES, one of my favorite consoles. On top of that, um, I didn't see um, the Philips uh, 3DO, I'm sorry, the Panasonic 3DO. Um, There's a lot of consoles that uh, were kind of missed out on in this exhibit. And I do understand that this is the first exhibit and that they do have a limited amount of room for these video games. So I can't really be too harsh on them. Um, but in the future, it would be nice to see um, a wider spectrum of consoles, whether you know they were commercially successful or not. And um, I did notice that the Saturn and Dreamcast were there. So, they so I guess um, commercial success wasn't the wasn't the basis of these uh, the selection of these consoles I guess it was popularity on the particular day that I visited the exhibit the gamer symphony orchestra was playing in the courtyard for a small audience um, this orchestra played video uh, scores of music from video games such as Final Fantasy to Kingdom Hearts to Sonic so without any further ado please enjoy the music we have Hikari from uh, Kingdom Hearts and also a Sonic mix from Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. 